The movie starts with a guy who touched a small doll. After that, he seemed to faint. Then there was a scene nine years ago, when the guy was in a snowy mountain. Then there were some armies and one of them said thanks to the guy, and even promised the guy to be an army, but the guy said that he didn't need the position. He also said that only two kinds of people who happened to be in the mountain were people who were looking for themselves and the second was the people who were looking for him. Then the guy gave a present to a boy named Kancha, but Kancha said not to give him a present and asked him to let Kancha in when he hikes. Kancha was also mad because it was his 16th birthday, yet the guy still thought that Kancha was a kid. In the end, the guy let Kancha to hike together. It turns out the guy is named Shive. There were also another guy and a western girl in the car. The Indian talked in Indian, and the girl acted like she didn't understand, but when Kancha complimented her, she spoke Indian in the end. The girl is Bulgarian and she got a scholarship and lived in India for five years. Shive happened to make her mad by saying it was strange to know that there is a Western who speaks Hindi. In the night, the girl came to Shive. She said that it was strange because he got Shiva name with the added E. Then the girl asked where Shiva with long hair, three spearheads and the trident weapons were. After that, Shive showed her his Shiva tattoos. The next day, they along with other students went hiking and managed to reach the top. Then, Shive asked the girl if there was any mountain like this in her country along with the sunrise and the same lighting as in the mountain. The girl said there were many mountains in her country, and surely there was sunrise, but no mountain and lighting like in the mountain. She also added that no one liked Shive. But out of the blue, Shive noticed that there would be snow avalanches. Soon Shive prepared to save everyone and he saved one by one. Only the girl and Shive left, but the girl saw a guy and Shive rescued the guy first. The guy was so frightened that he got stuck in the rope. Seeing the snow avalanches getting closer, Shive jumped into the rope and managed to rescue him. Shive then went back to the girl to save the girl. But no time to get into the rope, so Shive decided to come to a tent there along with the girl. Then the girl woke up and Shive informed her that she broke her leg. She was so frightened because she didn't want to die. It turns out that the girl's name is Olga and the snowy mountain is in Malaya. In the tent, Olga and Shive were getting closer. Not so long after that they were found by a helicopter to rescue them. Olga and Shive were in a relationship at the moment. Olga asked him to join her to go to Bulgaria, but he said that he could only survive in the Himalayas. Then Shive was always by her side until she managed to walk again. Long story short, Olga was pregnant. But it turned out Olga didn't want the baby. Knowing this, Shive asked her to delay her plan to go back to her country just for nine months until she gave birth. After that the situation became chaotic because Olga insisted to not want to have a baby but Shive insisted to want the baby because he didn't have a complete family and he didn't want to lose the new member of his family. Nine years after that, Shive's child grew into a beautiful girl who he always asked to join him to hike since she was a little. Her name is Gora, but it turns out that Gora is deaf. But then Gora found a letter from her mother. It made Gora mad and even wanted to run away. All this time, her father told her that her mother had died. Shive chased her, and because Gora was out of control, when Shive wanted to stop her, Gora fainted and got some stitches on her head. In the letter, Olga said that she wanted to see her child once but she wouldn't do it because if she did, she wouldn't leave her anymore. Olga also told Shive to tell their child that she has died, if not, their child would hate her. When Gora was back at home again, she acted as if she wanted to meet her mother. Not so long after that, Shive gave her tickets to Bulgaria. Gora was so happy knowing that. They then went to Bulgaria and stayed in a hotel. When in the hotel, Shive passed two guys with a boy. He suspected them and spied on them. It turns out they sold the boy. After that, Shive took Gora to the hotel room first. When Gora fell asleep, Shive came to the room where a man bought the boy earlier. The man is a Russian and when Shive asked about the boy, the Russian man asked him to get out. But Shive beat him and quickly called the police. The police thanked him for that. The next day, Shive and Gora went to Olga's address, but it turns out that Olga has moved somewhere. Then, Shive planned to go to the embassy to find out Olga's new address. On the other hand, there was a guy named Wahab who was talking to a girl. The girl said that she had no idea about her type, but she definitely didn't want a hacker guy like him. She added that even though he was a great hacker, he couldn't hack her heart. Then the girl asked his men to take Wahab away from her. Back to Shive, Shive and Gora were in the embassy already. There they met the embassy staff and Shive told about Olga. The staff seemed so welcoming at first, but he asked about personal matters like the relationship between Shive and Olga at the moment. 
He even talked a bit vulgarly in front of Gora. Not so long after that, the girl earlier came. It turns out her name is Anushka. The embassy man continued to say annoying things like he came to hike and ruin Olga's life. It made Gora mad. Then Anushka introduced herself to Gora and Anushka said that Gora had to be friends with her if Gora wanted to meet her mother. Then Gora and Shive went outside, and Shive left Gora for a moment to talk to some strangers, maybe informing them about Olga. But not so long after that Gora was kidnapped. Shive quickly chased the kidnappers and even grabbed a taxi and drove it. Shive managed to be in the top of the kidnappers' car several times. Even he managed to enter the car but not so long after that a kidnapper took him and his fellow kidnapper out of the car. He happened to fight in the street. Suddenly the kidnapper was hit by a car and when Shive wanted to chase the car again, the police arrested him. The police couldn't believe Shive when he said he was her father. It could be he was a human trafficker and wanted to sell Gora. Hearing that, Shive was so mad and out of control. On the other hand, Gora was with an old man named Ustinov. He changed her name to Lilia, and he burnt the passport of hers in Shive. It turns out there are so many human traffickings where many children were kidnapped in Bulgaria, and it is a big business, and no one knows who is behind it. But one thing for sure, they are the Russian Mafia. At the moment, Shive was accused in three cases, human trafficking, killing, and attacking the police. It is said that Shive wouldn't win over the Mafia, even he was told to forget that he was a father. When he saw some police in the police car, an instance he saw them as the kidnappers who wore the same mask. He recalled the moment when he was kicked in the kidnappers' car, and quickly he kicked the police until they were out of the car. In the end, even Chivet managed to make the car fall in the river. But with his hiking experience, he was safe by jumping from the car and survived below the bridge. On the other hand, Anushka was in her home. She was talking to his father, he complained about common things, then Anushka was called by someone. Her father thought it was Wahab, and he said that Wahab was a good guy. But still, Anushka is not interested in him. She even told Wahab that he couldn't be contacted after 6 p.m. It turns out it was not Wahab, but Shivay. Then Anushka came to Shivay. Anushka has promised him to help him. But Anushka still thought that he was a criminal and asked him to go to the jail first. Only by that, the embassy could push the police. While the human trafficking business only needed 72 hours to make the kidnapped child go to another country, Shivay thought the bureaucracy only wasted his time. Furthermore, Anushka kept saying that he was a criminal, even though he just wanted to save his daughter. Not so long after that, the police came and pointed a gun at Shivai. Knowing it, he threatened that he would make Anushka in danger if the police came closer. Then he managed to run away from the police and left Anushka. After that, Shivai went to a club. So many girls there offered her service to him in Bulgarian. But then there was the girl who talked in English with him. Realizing that, he asked her about Gora. Then the girl named Lauren revealed that her father never came to the club. She even asked him to find her father named Matthew and he is from Belgrade, Serbia. It seems that she was kidnapped too, but not so long after that, some guys came and she had to pretend to sell herself again, and she told them that he had no money. After that, Shive had a fight with the guys. Then, Shive rescued so many girls, who seemed to be human trafficking victims. Not so long after that, because of Ustinov's order, a man named Ivanovich came to the club. He saw many of his fellas fall on the ground and were dying. He asked a girl who did that, and that girl said that a guy did that. Back at Anushka's house, she seems to be traumatic because of the earlier accident. But her father is on Shivay's side and he said he did that to save his daughter. Not so long after that, Shivay called her but she didn't want to answer it. Then someone knocked her door loudly and there Shivay was, along with Lauren. After that, Shivay said it was okay if she didn't want to help him, but he told her it helped the daughter to find her father, then he left. Anushka didn't directly help her. Even her father, who was handicapped, had to try to walk to help Lauren. The next day, the embassy seemed to be in Chivet's side by saying if he was the human trafficker. It was impossible he rescued many human trafficking victims the previous day. After that, Anushka's boss talked to her. He said no one could be law-free, even though Chivet already did good things. And as an embassy staff, Anushka couldn't help him and followed the bureaucracy. This time, Anushka seemed on Chivet's side. She said Shivai could help the human trafficking case in just one hour, while the police could do nothing for years. She even asked whether she could help Shivai personally, and her boss said yes if it was personal. Before leaving the room, her boss asked why Anushka wanted to do that. 
Anushka said outside the superheroes comics, it was so rare to find people like a hero. After that, there was Olga in the embassy. She watched the news about Gora earlier and felt like doing something. Then Shive came to meet Anushka. He was surprised to know there was Olga. Shive looked mad and screamed at the fact she just appeared. And Gora had to be kidnapped first so that Olga realized that she was a mother. The situation was so chaotic, and Olga replied to Shive with screaming too. She said she thought Shive could take care of her daughter well, and all she wanted was that her daughter was safe and Olga could meet her. Then there was Wahab, who would help them to hack the police. Actually, as a hacker, it was his first crime, so that he acted a bit annoying, maybe because he was afraid. The first thing he was about to do was download the CCTV record when the kidnapper he fought earlier was hit by a car. But it turns out, Wahab noticed it was not an accident and was planned. Wahab said that they must find out the driver. When Wahab was downloading, on the other hand, Ivanovich came to a police and bribed him to remove the record. It made the police realize that someone hacked and tried to download it. Wahab was shocked to know it and they couldn't continue the download. But not so long after that, Anushka told it was okay again and they could continue. Yet Wahab realized that Ivanovich did that to find out their location. Quickly, Ivanovich and his gang came and attacked. Finally, Shivay fought them one by one until he attacked Ivanovich. At first, Ivanovich used the knife and slashed Shivay's chest, but in the end, Shivay managed to torture Ivanovich and asked where his daughter was. Then Ivanovich was found in a car. There was a police officer who acted like he didn't like it happened. Then Shivay and Anushka were heading to Ustinov. While Olga and Wahab were watching the CCT somewhere. But before Shive and Meshka arrived, the masked kidnapper's gang came and pointed a gun at Ustinov. When they arrived at Ustinov's residence, they found Ustinov bloody. Then they looked for Gora, and they didn't find her. After that, Shive noticed that there was a basement. There they tried to find her. But they found some corpses there, even though Shive found Gora's doll, but she wasn't there. Then they were back to Ustinov, but it turns out Ustinov was still alive. Then, Shive asked the dying Ustinov where Gora was and he said changes who took her. Then they called Wahab to inform him about it. They said maybe Ivanovich revealed it earlier before they arrived at Ustinov's residence, but Wahab said the prison was a safe place and it was impossible if Ivanovich told Ustinov from there. Then they thought that they could only depend on Ivanovich by asking him about changes. But suddenly someone came to Ivanovich and gave him a cigarette and he smoked. But it turns out Ivanovich was dead after that. Seeing that, Shive quickly said that changes was someone in the police. Then Shive bravely came to the police station when there was a meeting. He screamed calling changes and only one police officer who didn't directly look at Shive. Shive quickly noticed that he was changes. Soon Shive informed Wahab and Wahab started to hack changes. Wahab found out that changes called his men and Goro was heading to Romania's border. Wahab asked Shive to stop chasing changes and chased his men who were heading to the border instead. Shive tried to chase them, but what a pity the car already passed the border and Shive could see them from the cross. Seeing that, he took his rope and used that to chase them. Then he managed to be in the top of their car. One person came out of the car to fight Shive, while the other one shot to the outside. It turns out Shive opened the door and killed him. Shive then quickly opened the back door and there were many children there. Finally, he met Gora, but she seemed out of control at first, but in the end, she realized that it was her father. But not so long after that, Changes attacked him from the helicopter. There were Changes as men too. Quickly, Shive took her to run away, and they went to a cave. But there were Changes as men when they wanted to go out from there. Seeing that, Shive went back to the place where they entered the cave, but the helicopter was about to land there. Long story short, Shive attacked Changes as men and Changes. Shive already lost energy since he fought with many people already. While Gora was still in the cave and could only do nothing. But Shive asked her to run away. At first, she still didn't do anything, but in the end, she ran away. Then Changes' man was about to chase her. But luckily, Shive managed to push him off to the snowy cliff and fell. Then, Shive attacked Changes too. They fought quite long and even happened to fall together. But in the end, Changes died. Then Shive was in a hospital and he just woke up. When he asked Anushka about where Gora was, then Anushka took him to Olga's residence. She got such a luxurious house and there Gora got so many dolls. She seemed to be happy at the moment, but then she went outside and there was someone who seemed to be Olga's lover at the moment. Gora looked so close to the guy. 
Not so long after that, Shive wanted to go back to India. He was in the airport already, but Gora was so mad and sad and broke the ticket. Then, Shive said sorry to her. After that, the movie is over.